Hello Cosmos community, my name's Chris Wilson. In this video, we'll be going over how to stake Atom. If you're not sure what staking is, make sure to check out our What is Staking video linked in the description. But first, let's go over what Cosmos is. Cosmos is commonly referred to as the Internet of Blockchains and contains an ecosystem of apps and services that exchange digital assets and data using the IBC, Inter-Blockchain Communication Protocol. Cosmos envisions that interoperable blockchain technology will help improve the world economy, making it more resilient and transparent through decentralization. The Cosmos Hub has broken the silos of blockchain economies by enabling assets and data to be transferred between blockchains. New Cosmos-based blockchains can be securely connected with other blockchains increasing the rate of adoption and liquidity. Now that we have a basic understanding of Atom, let's look at some key facts for staking Atom tokens on the Cosmos network. Rewards are distributed automatically every block. 5% slashing penalty for double signing and 0.01% slashing penalty for downtime. There's a 21 day unbonding period and tokens are locked during the staking period. A new delegation is required for compounding rewards. So make sure to leave a little bit of Atom left over in your wallet for bonding and unbonding fees. Now that we know the key staking facts for staking Atom, we can get started. Our first step is to go to wallet.kepler.app. If you don't already have a Kepler wallet installed, now's the time when we can do that. We'll click install for our browser, add and add extension. Now that it's been added, we can pin it to the top and click on it. Here, we're given the option to sign in with Google, create a new account, import an existing account, or import from our Ledger device. For the sake of this demo, we'll be creating a new account and now we will see our mnemonic seed or our seed phrase. And this is derived from our private keys and we'll create our wallet if we ever lose it. We want to store these keys in a secure place, never store them online or anywhere where internet can be connected to it and make sure to never share these keys with anyone. If anyone ever asks you for your private seed phrase, or your mnemonic seed, they're more than likely trying to scam you. Anyone who holds these keys can have access to all the funds associated with the wallet. So make sure to store them in a secure and private place. I'll be writing these words down on a piece of paper. To demonstrate that, we'll put them on a notepad. And then this piece of paper would be put in like a security deposit box or hidden in safe locations or multiple locations. Next, we'll put in our account name and our passwords. And now we will input our seed phrase in the correct order to make sure that it is right. And once you have put them in the correct order, we can register our account. You're all set. Now we can open the extension to begin. And here is our wallet. We're under Cosmos. This is where we would send our Atom is to this address from an exchange. And we can see our available balance and how much we have staked or locked. And if we wanted to stake, we'll click the stake button once we funded the wallet. Staking will open up Kepler wallet under Atom. We can go ahead and refresh the wallet. And now we're connected to our Kepler. We can come under here at Cosmos and stake. And this is the staking interface. So the next step is to add funds to our Cosmos wallet to begin staking. To do so, we will copy this address, go to our exchange of choice to send our Atom. We would come over and input that into the address and then hit continue. And look at that, it's already sent over. Now that we have some Atom available, we can begin staking. You can come down here on the left side, you can go under Cosmos and go to staking and this will bring up your staking hub. If you have already staked some, you will see it up here. And if not, you will need to scroll down here to look for a validator. For me, I choose the Figment validator and we can come over here to manage. Once we're under manage, we can click on delegate and click on max and delegate. This will pop up your Kepler wallet to approve and you can see the fee associated with it. We'll go ahead and approve and there it is. We've gone up by one atom. Congratulations, Yay! you've just staked your atom. How easy was that? In case you missed it, be sure to check out our videos in the What Dad series. These videos include a breakdown of Web3, staking, ETH2, and custody. You can find links to these videos and more in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on all things Figment. At Figment, we're on a journey to create a truly decentralized internet where users can freely interact, 
share, collaborate, and exchange goods and services in a trustless environment. At Figment, it is important for us to encourage staking and protocol participation. For blockchains to work, you must be able to control how your data, finances, and privacy are used. We believe this can be achieved using proof-of-stake protocols, where your participation counts no matter the amount. Through staking and governance, we can avoid centralization and realize this vision. To help deliver that vision, we offer staking, middleware, and application layer solutions for token holders and developers investing in and building on Web3 technologies. We're on a journey to build a better internet, keeping privacy, data ownership, transparency, and censorship resistance top of mind. If you're interested in learning more about Figment or our services, you can find all the relevant links in the description below or at figment.io. As always, if you have any questions about staking or how Figment simplifies blockchain for you or your organization, you can join Staking Hub with the link in the description. I look forward to seeing you there, and until next time, happy staking!